Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. December 10th marked a very important day in the struggle for human rights. Here's a segment about a Chicago event held to commemorate International Human Rights Day. We started out as a protest against U.S. violence overseas. The systemic violence of U.S. militarism around the world. And what were the events in Ferguson and New York, which were just the tip of the iceberg of racist violence by law enforcement here in the United States? We thought it was very important to connect the issues of state violence here in the United States against African Americans and Latinos and others with the state violence of the United States government abroad. We live in a country where once every 28 hours, law enforcement or security guards kill an African American. If you are an African American and you kill a white person, you are more than four times more likely to get the death penalty than if you are a white person who killed a black person. Overseas, we see, thanks to a report just a few days ago, that for every drone strike on alleged terrorists targeted by the Obama administration, 28 innocent people are killed. 28 innocent people for every uh, alleged terrorist killed. And here we are on International Human Rights Day, and the gift to the world that the United States just gave us just on the eve of International Human Rights Day was the Senate Torture Report. The torture report that documented that the Central Intelligence Agency not only tortured people, but murdered them, murdered captains. And they wonder why the United States is hated around the world. One of my most painful memories is watching as a young mother held her baby in Vietnam as the life poor blood drained out of its tiny body while the mother could only scream the universal cry of anguish. According to the U.S. government, her baby was collateral damage, killed by an American airstrike. Vietnam veterans against the war led the way to force an end to that terrible war. Good evening. Thank you all for being here. Uh, if you've been reading the news recently, you've heard a lot about things like anal force feeding, chokeholds, sleep deprivation for weeks on end, and a whole string of dead young African American males. What do all these things have in common? what happens when the world's sole superpower morphs into a permanent warfare state. And when the state becomes a permanent warfare state, virtually everybody appears as an enemy. Please get out of the street, thank you. Once again, in a world where war criminals go free, protesters are once again arrested.